My dear student, before going on to the studying anything else related to the aircraft, we are going to study about the interior of the aircraft that is the cockpit of the aircraft. So that before going on to different discussing different systems relating to the aircraft, we must have a good knowledge about the aircraft cockpit from where we would control and we would see different the behavior of different systems in the form of MFDs. So let's start to define and study about the Boeing 777 interior that is the cockpit of the Boeing 777 aircraft so that you must have a good knowledge about the interior of the aircraft and the controlling of different aircraft systems. So let's start. Okay gentlemen, we can divide our aircraft interior into as far as the systems controlling is concerned into the three parts. The first part is our central pedestal unit. This is the central pedestal on which we are having different systems related to the aircraft. These systems are like this. We are having MCDU. This MCDU is other than the two MCDUs are also available on this central pedestal unit. Other than the MCDU, we are having different uh, radio tuning panels, radio tuning panel 1 and radio tuning panel 2 and aircraft audio control panels are also available on this part. These are in the number 3, 1, 2 and 3. Three audio control panels are available as well as we are having a radio tuning panels one two and three these are in number three to control th frequencies and audio of different aircraft equipments i have told you earlier that we are having mcdu in three numbers one two and three other than that these mcd uh, with the help of these mcdus we can control different systems and get the information of different systems on this MCDU. Other than the MCDU, we are having the throttle controller, we are having the pitch trim, flap controller. This is the uh, from here we could use the these are the throttle controllers for the two engines and uh, trim pitch trims controller and the flap controller available at this point. Other than these controllers, we are having some of the uh, other equipment which could be available on this central pedestal unit, but we will discuss it later on. That's moving forward. Okay, this is our second portion of our cockpit. This is the front portion of the cockpit in which we are having the different electronic flight instrumentation systems in the electronic flight instrument uh, instrumentation systems we are having uh, uh, these are the MFDs to all are the MFDs but we call it those MFDs which are in the center positions these are the ECAM this is ECAM and the multifunction display and uh, we are having the PFD this is PFD and this is PFD and the two interior ones are this one and the this one is NDR navigational display. These multifunction displays, all of the multifunction displays are having different names like ECAM, MFDs, ND, ND navigation display and uh, primary function display and the uh, primary flight display and this one is the primary front display. Navigation information of the aircraft is available on the ND pages and information related to the engine is available on the ECAM and the primary flight display provides the primary flight information of the aircraft. Same way the multifunction display in the lower portion provides the auxiliary information of the auxiliary aircraft systems like electrical information, oxygen information, pneumatic systems information, 
APU information and some of the other information related to the aircraft equipment. So let's move forward to discuss something more in our aircraft interior. This is the control column for the uh, co for the captain. This control column provides the aircraft controlling in three axes. This is into the pitch axis, into the roll axis, and into the yawing axis. This control column is for the captain, and on the other side of the our cockpit, we are having another control column for our co-pilot like this one this is this side is for the co-pilot this is the wheel twilter wheel twilter means that with the help of this we can twilt the nose landing gear of the aircraft Dear student, this is overhead panel. Overhead panel provides the controllability of different aircraft equipment. Like we here, we are having the like engine control, the fuel jetson control, bleed air control, and pneumatic air control. Some of the other controls available on the overhead panel, which are being used for controlling different aircraft systems we would discuss each and every system in detail in the coming lectures these are the fuses this, oh sorry these are the um, switches which are being used to activate and deactivate different aircraft systems these aircraft systems provide the controllability and on off function of different aircraft equipment with this uh, thank you very much you have uh, got the basic knowledge of the aircraft interior in detail we will discuss more the we will discuss the information related to the aircraft systems which are being provided in this cockpit thank you very much we would move for uh, further into the next lecture till now till then thank you very much